good morning good afternoon guys whichever day it is when you have you guys watched it you saw it in the title man this is why i feel bad for some tacoma owners now before i get this video started if you went out and brought your tacoma and you're financing it i mean then you know it's pretty much yours you can do whatever you want with it but if you lease it and you start cutting into the cabin lift kits tires wheels ridiculous suspension pieces and all that other stuff like that man that's who i feel bad for because when you lease a vehicle it's not really yours unless you plan to keep it down the road you know and this, like i said before this video is not for any people that they're buying their Tacomas, but technically when you buy something, you either have buying in cash outright or you're financing it. Typically finance is probably not yours either because you're paying interest on it. But that's a different story for a different day. Reason I feel bad for Tacoma owners that lease their trucks and do all this kind of modifications to it is because at the end of you doing all those modifications to your truck, making it look nice, pretty, lights glow in the dark pressing the girls you know hooning out with your boys doing donuts sand dunes bajas whatever activity it is that you guys do you're gonna have to give the truck back not only do you have to give the truck back after putting all those parts mods that you've been saving up working your hard for spending your hard work spending your hard work and money on but you have to turn the truck back to stalk you know and that's a lot of work and you can't turn a part of a truck back that you cut off like the cabin just to get more real access or you know whatever it is that you need to do and like tearing out fenders cutting the bumper you know to put some guards on there some wrenches on it I would only do that if I'm buying a truck outright or financing it and I'm putting down you know bigger than what my monthly payment is just to help you know just to get the truck paid off quicker or something like that but just like if you're leasing a truck please 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 just do just do it's okay to do a little modifications on it just a little but not nothing huge like a lift kit that you got to take off and put the other lift on cut in the cabin just to get more wheel clearance cutting the bumper just to add a wrench or uh what's that what's what's them bars that go in front i don't know you know what just just quote me on that i know you guys don't roast me in the comments for not knowing what that is but i'm just saying it man because i mean when you're leasing something you technically don't own it unless you plan on owning it down the road you know so just keep that in mind when you go to buy a truck and you're leasing it yay everybody has their reasons of leasing you might want a cheaper down payment um or you might you know want to save a little bit of money in the bank and you can't afford you know the true payment of the truck because me and my truck i leased it but that's for another video and i understand everybody has their reasons everybody you know does what's best for them but at the end of the day when you're leasing something you don't want to start cutting into the the bones of the truck you know you you can put like little detect decals on it you know put your whim or tire base on it you know even even a lift kit you can you can't put a lift kit because you can't change it back to stock but i mean like don't go heavily modification on the lease truck you know just make it yours in little bits and pieces then when you get to that point where you want to buy the truck and it's yours then well uh, you got yourself a truck guys but you know that's just my opinion on why i feel bad for some tacoma owners who lease their trucks and go all out but until then, guys, this your boy Bruce. I'm out, guys. See you next.